Hi guys, Derek here with The Closet Doctor, and today I wanna to talk to you about Standard Operating Procedures, or SOPs, and tell you a little bit about why you need them and how to easily make them with a product called Gemba Docs. Let me show you what we got. So why do you need a Standard Operating Procedure? I'm gonna show you one here for cleaning the bathroom. And the reason you need a Standard Operating Procedure, or an SOP for something like that is, everybody's life, uh, go and clean the bathroom means a different thing. Some people that means go in and empty the trash and if there's anything on the seat, wipe it down. Uh, on my, If my wife was doing it, she would want four different types of cleaner and she would do a very good thorough cleaning. And so they're two very, very different things. So is what we do in a business is we establish the, the way that we're going to do it. What we agree upon might be the best way or the certain way to do it. And then we're going to document that and then we're gonna train on it and follow it. So let me show you an SOP. This is our bathroom one and how we do it now, how we create these now and how we used to create them. And I'll put a link in the description here for Gemba Docs along with a discount code if that's something that you wanna, you wanna look into. So for cleaning our bathroom, we've got a 14 step process covers things like, you know, the first step is look up and check the vents for dust and cobwebs in the corners, just a reminder to go through it. And then it tells you, you know, where to start, what cleaner to use, where you're going to put the garbage can. And it goes through the whole process, uh, sweep the entire floor, install a new, uh, got a spelling error there, Swiffer pad. And we're going to use that to wipe down all the metal sidewalls and then mop the floor with that Swiffer. So it tells us the order to do things the whole deal now we utilize i created this using gemba docs which is really simple you take the picture you edit and modify the picture if you're going to need to add stuff and you type in a few things and you click next and do your next step very very simple what we used to use this was a word document so how to strap parts on our strapping machine so we had a word document that was a template we'd go and we'd take all of these pictures and then we would upload those to Google Docs, and then we would open our document, and we would re, we would, uh, the easiest way to do it was to change the picture. So you'd right click and change the picture, and these wouldn't be locked in place, and they'd move around, and then you would go in and you would type all of this stuff. You, it was kind of a batch process. You would have to build the process, and then come back in and type it out. Now that we use Gimba Docs, uh, is a very simple document. Let me try to bring this to our, so it comes up and it says, hey, I want to create a new document. And we're gonna, it's got a bunch of stuff that you can create on here, but we're going to create a standard operational procedure. We're going to give it a name over here. So you just click on it. It comes up and we're going to write testing. Boom. Since I'm doing all this, I'm going to hit next. Oops, I'm going to hit confirm next. And then we're going to go to our first process. And so I'm going to take a picture. And like I said, I'm doing this one handed. So I'm going to, I'm just holding this here. Be patient with me. I'm going to tell it to use that photo. And we're going to choose that photo. And now I can come in here and I can edit the image. I can put arrows on it that point to stuff. I can do a text box and type stuff in here. And then I can make it. See if I can do this here. I can make it bigger and I can move it around on there. That was just the word that popped up in auto spell. Or I can I can just draw a thing, or I can highlight an area and I can draw squiggly lines on it. This is just a few of the things that we can do. I'm doing left-handed. And uh, I can also crop it. There's a bunch of so there's a bunch of things up here. We're gonna save that. And then all we're gonna do is type in our process, install, rayfix bolts for bed panel trim that's what came up there so now i've got my 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 picture from my first process and i've described the process i'm going to hit done and i'm going to save and add another step and then it just finishes that process i'm going to take another picture here real quick use photo choose Boom, and we're gonna go here, we're gonna go done. And now we're gonna say finish. Here is my process, it's gonna come up. There it is, what we did, we're gonna hit, hang on, hit 
close. There it is, we've got it. We got a viewer print and it's gonna generate it. We can print this from a PDF file like we've got here. All kinds of other stuff we can do. And then the cool thing about it is, I'm gonna close this one. If we later on, we wanna change how we do the bathrooms here, it stores all of those on the app. Once again, left-handed here, hang tight with me. And we're gonna come over here. I'm gonna try to do this. It's got a QR code on it, and a QR code that I can scan. It's my QR code, and I'm gonna push that, and it's gonna take me right back to my, you scan the QR code right here, and it'll take you back to this procedure. Like I said, I'm doing this one-handed, left-handed, it would take us back to that. And then you can go in and edit those things. So very simple and easy to use. And you can use it, you know, for cleaning the bathroom. Like here's one that we made, a very simple one. It's got two pictures in it. It tells us when we build a Murphy bed, what order to strap it in. And it's got some call outs on it so that when we strap that in, we can carry it. We can train the guy in the shop here how to do this so that when we carry it into the house, that we can set it down, put our Rayfix screws in, and not have to move anything. We've also used it here for this one, where we've got uh, how to identify our grass drawer guides. So now when we train, it's here. We've got it right here, we can show it to somebody, and it's well done. This probably took me 25 minutes to do. You know, this one was literally two minutes. Uh, I think it probably had 45 minutes in the bathroom on, just because I was going through and making it, I wanted a good one there. In the old days, this guy here, we would have gone through, made the whole process and written it out, taken all the pictures and then gone back and struggled with uh, word to get this done. We would have had an hour, hour and a half into this one and it's not near as nice as this one there. So uh, Gemba Docs, check it out. Use my discount code DH10. It'll be in the description and there you have it.